Hey, this is a screencast series called Vim on Alphabet. My name is Josh Branshaw, and this is episode four in the series. In this episode, we'll be looking at the backtick character. The most common use of the backtick is for jumping to marks that we've set. A mark is kind of like when we dog ear the page of a book. Marks are even more specific, though. They can be used to mark a specific point in a file. With the backtick key, we can jump to that specific point. If we set a lowercase mark, which is specific to each buffer, then we can hit backtick and the mark identifier to jump to that mark. I have lowercase a marked. Let's see where that jumps to. Bullseye. Similarly, if we've set an uppercase mark, which is shared across buffers, then we can hit backtick and that mark identifier to jump there. I have capital A marked in another buffer, and that jumped our cursor here to the specific spot in this buffer. If I try backtick lowercase a again, that will jump me to a mark in this file rather than in the other one. Marks are what you make them. You could use them to seamlessly move around during a code demo. You can use them as part of a test-driven development flow to make it easy to jump between a specific test and any files you're refactoring. I'd love to hear how others are making use of marks. And now I'll hit backtick uppercase b to jump us to the next topic, which is a text object selection. If we have some characters wrapped in backticks, that's considered a text object. In the context of a markdown file, we could call this an inline code block. We can visually select the whole thing using VA backtick, or we can visually select just the insides using VI backtick. Lastly, we can do something called backtick expansion, where we can run a shell command or vim function as a file name argument. For example, we can use fd, a modern version of find, with the edit command to find and edit a file. This found the file 03.md, which is the file we used in the previous episode. You can also do this with vim functions, which the help file on backtick expansion can tell you more about. And as always, check out the help files for the nitty gritty details on everything we've looked at here. In the next episode, we'll look at the bang character.